Hey friends, today is day nine of our 14 day challenge to let others want with us. And um, thank you so much for how far you have brought this experience. Uh, be straight up with you. I am coming in at number 95 at this recording. So we've got some lifting to do. Thank you, I'm really grateful for all the effort that you have already expended over a considerable amount of time. I mean, doing this thing every day for several weeks now. Um, it is commendable. I just, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for that. And um, quick question for you, and that is, um, what do you think is the, is the main reason people would not go for the life of their dreams? What do you think? Wh why do you think a person would not take a chance for the love of their life? the dream job of their life. Why, why would a person not do those things? I seriously want to know what your opinion is, and I'll quickly share with you what mine is. I think that people live smaller, love smaller, give smaller. I think that they do those things because um, of fear of the opinion of others. I think that they do those things because there is such a twisted addiction um, or this fa like a false need, you know, for approval um, that people regularly sell themselves out and betray their own souls to uh, maintain the favor of the tribe. That's what I believe. And I think it's a damn shame. I'd say that as someone who, um, I used to be an end of life chaplain, a resident chaplain. And it was my job to journey with people, you know, to the end of, of this existence. And, and then they went on to wherever the next step is. Um, and that kind of work, you know, it got me really clear about not a lot of things, but a few things, you know, and, and, and one of them is that it, it's just, it's, I can't think of a more foolish reason to live halfway than to, you know, have such a high regard for the opinion of, of others. And, and I understand some people do deserve, you know, to be influential in our heads and in our hearts and in our decisions, but most don't. <laughs> okay, can I just be candid? Most do not deserve influence, uh, to, to deserve to be an influence on how you live your life. That is just the, the stone cold truth. So I say that to you from the backdrop of my dream life that I'm living. <laughs> and, uh, and please, I mean, I'll be very real with you. I have plenty of challenges, okay? I'm just really playing up the beauty because um, that was, it's one of the fruits of my life. And also it's to show what I would be doing in Cancun as the Cancun experience officer if Cancun.com were to give me such a chance. <laughs> so um, thank you for hearing me. Thank you for hearing that question and for your support. And um, I wish you a great day today. And I just hope that you would um, really let yourself be the greatest influencer in um, the matters of your heart and in the matters of your life. Live it like you mean it. All right, I love y'all. See you tomorrow.